Hello Furless, so I shouldn't really be doing this video, this is just silly, I'm um, just giving attention I guess, but it's something for you to watch, a bit of content, go and enjoy, oh dear 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 dear, bless his heart in a way, but we all know High Street Paranormal don't we, High Street Paranormal the guy who <laughs> says when he was 17 years old, these 9 year olds come up to him and did stuff and uh, you know the person I'm not gonna go into it. it it makes me feel sick he says that the video is edited blah 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 it's the best fucking editing I've ever seen with the audio I mean it is mwah. so if you if that was edited Cecil no someone really hates you that, that, I don't think your video is edited but we're not talking about that we're talking about something else right sometimes you gotta move on from things and you know he's not gonna own it whatever whatever it's out there, okay? It really is out there. What was... Yeah, I do things like that. He did the video, if you really want to know, because someone else was going to get there first, if you really want to know the, the motive behind it. Anyway, Cecil will be getting a new car. Well, not a new car, a, not a new car by a long shot, and that's okay. But I wished him well. Like, you know, he's getting on his feet and stuff, and he's doing okay. Uh, got some, some but money. Yeah, a lot more money than I got. Good on you, man. It's good. Okay, it isn't bad, right? But he's taking everything as such a fucking threat and defence. It is funny. So let's just listen to his video. Just for shits and giggles, nothing else. No one really gives a fuck. I don't even know why I'm doing this, really. But I'm just going to put a few things straight. Just because, well, there's that out there. May as well have it out there. Enjoy. What am I doing with my fucking life doing this shit? <sighs> what up, High Street? Um, someone left their opinion about my car, and uh, I analyzed it, and I'm going to state my opinion and reply. It's not drama. Um, it's just me talking. For everyone who has watched my videos about the car... The only reason why I even shared having a car, the only reason why I even put up videos of the car and even showed y'all what it looked like and that I can drive and, you know, things of the sort has everything to do with the last few years. People, people literally assassinating our characters as parents. Because of how we chose to spend our money. Because for a long time we chose not to buy a car. Or have a car. Me posting videos about the car. Has a, everything to do with. People doubting me. People saying. That we were drug addicts. We wasted all of our money on. Dumb shit and drugs that we don't deserve donations because we're going to waste our money on drugs instead of buying things we need, that we were bad parents and all this stupid shit, and that we're not a normal family because we don't even have a vehicle. Xander's growing up with a mom and dad who don't have a vehicle, and poor kid, poor kid, wah, 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 wah. And Cecil's not smart enough to get his license because he's 40 years old and never had a license before. And you guys were acting like you were better than us because you guys had the ability to own cars and have cars and be able to drive around and take road trips if you want to. So that's why I showed the car on YouTube. Okay. Well, Order of Magnitude shows up and he says... I wish you guys the best. I hope everything works out for you. And I know you don't believe that, but it's true. Although, since you don't know mechanics, I believe you bought a lemon. He's halfway across the world. And he's telling us that we bought a lemon. But, the only thing I see have seen of him, and that was like six months ago, he was on YouTube begging for donations because he couldn't go pick his old lady up for work 
because his car broke down. And it was a car that someone bought for him from YouTube. And he was on YouTube saying that he wasn't asking for help or money, but he was, but he wasn't, but he was, but he wasn't. He was e-begging exactly what he accused me and my family of doing when we've never done that. Um, <clears throat> which is a term that the drama community uses when they want to assassinate somebody's character. Um, so many things wrong. A little bit different this video from Cecil. He's a bit more low-key, lower down, wants to talk a bit more personal rather than just firing out the fucks. But, okay Cecil. First of all, no one bought me that car. Nobody bought me that car, okay? I had a car bought for me a while ago, 2017 sort of time. It was a Saab convertible turbo. Not the super fast version but you know 150 horsepower it's quite nice very nice i missed it dearly unfortunately it was you know a couple of hundred notes 600 quid that's not a diss or a bad thing i love the car i really love the car and i miss the car a lot actually but with Saabs, you have to service them you can't miss any services okay and this is where we're going to get to you in a minute with your car okay and i'm actually trying to help you but you're not going to see it as help are you at all you're just going to see it as some sort of weird attack and that's fine Whatever, I shouldn't be spending my time with you. I really shouldn't. It's a waste of time. Excuse me, fellas, I look like shit. It's bath day today. Remember, I bath twice a week. <laughs> I ain't got time! There's no fucking time in the world! Anyway, so it's like this. Cecil, when that car died, that car was not bought by Fertless. That was bought via, like, us, if that makes sense. My own family, okay? Unfortunately, the cam belt snapped, and I was in the shit. And I didn't know what to do, and yeah, I, I lean in the community for help. Just like you do. You do too. And that's okay. It's not a problem. I never dissed you for asking for help. Never. Why, why do you think I have dissed you for that? Because I never have. But please get the facts straight. That wasn't my car. That, that wasn't... That, blah, blah, blah. Magnitude, do another take. No. That car was not bought for me, okay? By Furless. That was... Our car, our money, our... You, you with me, understand? It was called Jeff. It's on the intro. You know, see, I can't... Zoom over. Cam belt snap, game over. But you don't know anything about that sort of thing, do you? Hence why I'm trying to help you, but you're just going to give it a good kick in the dirt because, you know, it's a hater. It's all right, we'll carry on, Cecil, we'll carry on. Jesus Christ, why am I spending my time doing this? I'm a fucking idiot. I really am an idiot. He was reaching out for help because his car broke down. Look. The lady who sold us this car didn't really want to sell it. She's attached to it. She took very good care of this car. She's had the engine and all the mechanical things recently checked. She kept the oil changes up all the time. She bought new tires for it. She's had the engine checked because the engine light come on. Yeah, so she had the engine checked professionally and found out there was nothing at all wrong with the engine. That old cars like that, sometimes the engine light to come on and there's no reason for it. Um, it might even just be rain water that might cause it um, after time. Only thing that was wrong with the car, literally, and she's got all the paperwork to show, is... It needs a slight alignment, and it's got two two-year-old tires and two really old tires. So it need it needs some new tread. So we have an appointment soon to take our car and get four brand new tires and a free alignment. Everything mechanically works on this car. The stereo system works on this car. All the lights, bells and whistles, everything works on this car. It starts up and you can't even hear it. Only thing you can hear is when the heater's on. The air conditioner needs replaced, but old cars and any cars, things are going to go bad on them. Right, Cecil. Shall I tell you what I said? Because just like your video that you put out, you, not no one else edited, just like your video... I talked of your car from the things you said. You said 
it has over 200,000 miles on it. But that's okay because that's just 20% of a car's life. 200,000 miles on a car is a lot. Okay, there are some cars that will, if we're going to go by your stats, that will hit a million miles. There are those cars around, okay? But the question is this, Cecil. Okay, this lady has taken care of this car, as you said, okay? We'll just assume that's the case. She's done oil changes and everything else. Will you do the oil changes, okay? You've got to keep up with them. Belts, okay? Is it a V6 or a V8 or is it a normal flat four? I don't know what the engine is. But you also said... Oh, we're getting new tyres and they're going to have an 850,000 mile warranty. It, it, your tyres are not going to have 150, a million, sorry, a million mile warranty minus 150k. I, no, they're not. Tyres last about 10,000, 15,000 miles. <laughs> so my point was this, right, with my comment. I worry for you that you'll be taken for a ride with a car because clearly you don't know what you're talking about and you'll end up buying a lemon, is what I said. I didn't say your car is a lemon. Oh, fucking idiot. But of course, this isn't about that. This is about just a... You're so fucking defensive. And I know why you're defensive. Because you put out a stupid video saying that you were underage at 17, which you were underage at 17, but two little nine-year-olds came on to you and you're the fucking victim. Like... Ah, it's all the things you say. Anything you say, people will comment on, you know. You're an interesting dude, clearly. I wasn't trying to rag on you, dude. I was trying to say, shit, if that's what you think those figures are, then we got problems. 850,000 mile warranty on tyres? Shit, I'm driving to America just to get those tyres. I fucking tell you. 200,000 miles is a lot on a car, okay? Now, Toyota's a very good... Uh, the Hilux especially, uh, I don't know if a Highlander and Hilux are the same thing in your country. Yeah, we, we live different places, but cars are the same pretty much. Also, 200,000 miles, okay, is that in kilometres or is that miles? You don't know, do you? You haven't got a clue what the fuck you're talking about, you're just stating stuff. I'm sure the car will be fine, I really do. But Cecil, you have to keep up with oil changes, you have to keep up with services, and shit like that, okay? I, oh, mate. Someone shows any concern, you're so fucking defensive. But I know why. I know exactly why. Master Shredder's completely right over all of that. Bad on them. You're going to have to keep up on your vehicles if you want them to continue to run throughout the years. Just because we have an old car with 200,000 miles on it, which the inside of it looks almost spotless. It looks like a brand new car. It smells like a brand new car. This car was taken well care of. The engine looks really clean as well. So, for you to be halfway across the world making a statement based off of my new, mine and Hetty's new toy makes no sense to me. Where's the logic in your statement? Your opinion makes no sense whatsoever. The logic, Cecil, comes from your words, what you said, what you've put out there. This car is 200,000... <sighs> I never said it was actually... Oh, my God. I said, I worry that you'll end up with a lemon. Mate, I'm sure the car's going to be fine, okay? Stop being so defensive. You're being so fucking defensive because you put out a video once upon a time not so long ago. We know this. Okay, we know this. Own it, move on, you won't, but move on anyway, okay? And I wish you... Ah, oh, you dick. Okay? And everything you said there is correct. But I know where you got all that information from. Everything you said about an old car and keeping out of it is what I said! <sighs> You're... Oh, mate. Why am I wasting my time on this? Fucking moron. I guess I'm bored. Shit! Now, frankly... Mind you that you were on YouTube crying about broken car, can't get, go pick up your old lady at some point. But then coming over here accusing me of having buying a lemon. Our car purrs like a kitten. It's quiet. It runs like a champ. It's nice. Unfortunately, we have to keep it in the garage. 
because of YouTube's YouTube people, and we got to keep a camera. I got to keep one of my main cameras down there to keep it safe. But outside of that, it's fully insured. Good. Well done. This is all advice. I you just read in my comments and oh, oh good. They should take it on board, I guess. Okay. You have to keep it in a garage because these so-called YouTubers come in to get you. I've got to say, this is one thing you fucked up on, Cecil. You said, Master Shredder came to my house and left a note under my plant pot of a link to my YouTube channel. Uh, to a YouTube channel, sorry. What, you pressed a piece of paper? No. I'll tell you why you're a fucking liar on that front, okay? Because your spelling is so bad. It goes like this. Cecil picks up a piece of paper showing everybody that Master Shredder came down because he said something to Shredder a little while back, Billy, and Billy got fucking irate and said, right, fuck it. So to drive and then he cooled down and didn't go. But Cecil seized, capitalised on this opportunity. So he said, look at this note, Master Shredder's left threatening me. It said, Master Shredder stopped by, B-Y-E is in bye, bye. Billy wouldn't spell like that, would he, Cecil? The only person who spells like that would be you. You. No one's threatening your life and stuff like that. You might get the odd troll. And you know why you get the odd troll, dude? Because you put out a video, unedited, bloody bloody blah boring. It's fully insured. It's clean. It smells good. We don't smoke in it. We don't eat food in it. The worst thing we do is drink coffee. But... I just wanted to share this opinion of his because I went high street to see that order of magnitude was came over here. I guess he was trying to be nice, which is cool. But if you're going to have an opinion, I'm going to have an opinion too, especially when it's based around my stuff that has nothing to do with you. Mate, the only reason why I had an opinion is because it's what you put out there, okay? You're the one that said, ah, I cut my, my car has 200,000 miles, only 20% of its life. I don't think you understand measurements or something. Everything's always 90% this, 10% that, without even really thinking it through. I've noticed that. And look, the only reason why I started watching this part about you getting a car is because you used to say anyone who has a car is an idiot, really, you know, it's, it's a wasted cost. No one needs cars. They always break down. They cost loads of money. You know, it's just a hindrance, really. Okay, fair point. It could be. But then suddenly you get a car. That's good, though. I'm not dissing you, okay, you defensive bastard. But listen, I don't think you understand the car world so well. A million, 200,000 miles is just 20% of a car's life. Cars can reach a million miles, you saw. Matt Farrar's fucking Lexus has hit a million miles. You want to know who that is because you don't understand cars or you're not into the car culture, okay? But you want to see what a million miles does to a car, like, properly. It really wears, okay? Interior of the fucking lot, all right? You'll be fine. Just keep up with the maintenance and stuff, everything you've said. But Jesus Christ, people will have an opinion on the things you put out. Just like your stupid video where you said two nine-year-olds came on to you, but it's okay. You were, un you were underage at the age of 17. Such an innocent little... B oh, shut the fuck up, Mac. G Stuff that has nothing to do with you. I just wanted High Street to hear what you said. You said just because I don't know car mechanics that we bought a lemon. I ain't arguing. I'm just trying to explain. Oh, you fucking idiot. I said, worry you'll buy a lemon. Worry, because you don't. Oh, you fucking moron. I ain't arguing. I'm just trying to explain that there's no, lo there's no logic in that statement. The 2003. It's an old car. <clears throat> eventually all old cars are going to break down eventually all new cars are going to break down something's going to break on them doesn't mean they're a lemon at all it means that they just might need a little work and frankly 
seeing you on YouTube live streaming, crying for some donation money to fix your car so you can go pick up your, your old lady six or eight months ago. Probably less time ago than that. Clearly so is me and everybody else who's seen the video that you, sir, you don't know car mechanics. <clears throat> Cher, do you want to know why? Why that happened, mate? Mr. Magnitude covers over 40,000 miles a year due to where I live and what my job is and all the rest of it, okay? 40,000 miles in a fucking year, okay? I don't think you can comprehend how many miles that is, all right? My Peugeot is not a Toyota. I know you're going to say about Toyotas in a minute. Toyotas are actually a very quality car, okay? Usually, not always. They have got a few problems like with gear linkages, things like that, because um, they don't use rods, they use wires on the gears. But that's okay, Cecil, because you don't drive stick. And you haven't learned to drive sticks, so don't worry about it. This isn't going to be on your car, all right? That wasn't a dig, by the way, but you can only drive automatic. <sighs> yeah, a cam belt snapped. Cam that can happen. That shit will happen. And it's more likely to happen on your car as well, over 200,000 miles, if you don't get the belts changed or sort it. My cam belt wasn't due for another 8,000 miles, but it went anyway. I'll tell you why it went. If you really want to know the truth, and I'm going to admit this, it's because I fucking hooned it. I was in a bad mood that day. And of course, I drive manual, okay, stick shift, and I can hold the gears, and I gave it some shit that day. With, uh, I was at 135,000 miles. Now just think, Cecil, my cam belt snapped at 135,000 miles. It wasn't due to 143 or something ridiculous, I can't remember what it was on the, on the sheet, so it wasn't even due yet, right? Your car is at 200,000 miles, okay? Now granted, you're on an automatic, it will change gear, you, you won't be able to rag it so much, so to say, if you're in a bad mood or whatever, or you won't do that, you'll be smart, right? You understand? But it can happen to anyone, okay? And please stop fucking eating while doing a fucking video, you disgusting mong! Mechanics. <clears throat> But let me tell you something about Toyotas, since I got all that out of my system. Toyotas are well-made cars. Toyotas are very reliable vehicles. Toyotas last a long time if you take care of them. In our car, back in 2003, they used to make these Toyota Highlanders in Japan. And Japan makes really good cars. Eventually, they started making making them in Indiana or somewhere. I might be wrong, but they started making them in the U.S. But it's still the same car. It doesn't matter if they make them in the U.S. or Japan. Still the same instruction, put-together manual. Just because a Mongoose Decade bicycle, 20-inch, gets built in Japan doesn't make it any more reliable or any more mechanically sound than as if it was built by the buyer out of the box. I have people who know how to fix cars. I have people in my life who fix on cars all the time, including their own. People in my immediate family. So if anything goes wrong with our car, us owning the car, we would know. And all we have to do is go and let somebody look at it. Or take it to a shop and see how much it's going to cost to fix it. Mind you, I have two jobs now. I barely have time to be on YouTube anymore. I barely have any time to make videos or music or anything. So I think these days in the corona era of my life, if anything happens to my lemon, we'll be able to... Get it taken care of. Well, good for you. It's all good then, isn't it? But you've got to understand, Cecil, when you put things out there and say stupid shit like my tyres will have an 850,000 mile warranty, people are going to comment on it and go, face palm, face palm. My car has got 200,000 miles and that's only 20% of its life. It could be, I don't think you quite understand what 200,000 miles is. Um, Snaps can happen to anyone, by the way, just to let you know. Especially if you give the car shit and high mileage, okay? That was my error, really. You know, I, I, I wonder if I was a bit gentler that particular day, things would have been alright. I don't know, but it's relevant. I know you put 
would be a fact to be deleted. No one has bought a separate car who has one car bought for us at the start of 2017. And that car was awesome, like no one else could buy it. There's nothing else to come from our own way of doing things, be it, you know, buying a car, insurance, or whatever else, okay, just like you two would, okay? The only thing that I commented was that our warranty might be sold a lemon because it's way too tall. It's obvious you don't want it at all, you know, I'm saying shit like this to my tyres, how many can you keep up with my warranty, you know, you don't like bloody brass measurements, it's always 90% this, 10% that, yet you don't really think it through or understand it, it's deluding you mate, but you're learning, clearly you're, you're starting to think back into the uh, correct, like totally, I don't know why you didn't just take advice, just take the compliment instead of just fucking hitting out all the time, oh I know why, because of a certain video, shut the fuck up back to you. Um, it's frankly, sir, you're the one with the lemon. See, people need to quit comparing their situations and their cars with other people they don't like. Just because you made a bad choice in a car buy doesn't mean that somebody that you hate, me, is also going to make the same mistake. Just because you act like you're smarter than us all the time. Because you can change your oil. Or you can change your brakes. Or you can fix a flat tire. It doesn't mean that you're mechanically intelligent. Alright, dickhead. This way you're saying you don't know about me. Mechanics, okay. I used to own an E30 BMW Tora. I don't know if you know what that is. Go fucking look it up on Google, okay. I... Myself, on my own, with a little bit of help from my wife, because my wife actually is better than you think, changed an entire engine from an M20, okay, an M26 cylinder, two point, no, it was two litre, for an Alpina lump, which was a 2.7 litre, has a higher compression, uh, as an ECU. We did all that ourselves. The only help we had was with the cam belt, because we didn't want to fuck it up. If you fuck up your cam belt or get the timing wrong, bang, your engine blows. Even bad stuff. I really don't plan on sharing any more video or pictures of the car anymore until I go to do a music video in the future or a paranormal gig. 
I just wanted you guys to see how nice the car looked. How good it sounds. How good it drives. And all the things that are good about it and bad about it as being a used car. But all around, even if it only lasts a year, we're happy with that. We're happy with that because there's always going to be good deals on better situations or less nice situations on vehicles in the future. I'm now a, uh, a t um, instruction permit driver. 14 days away from getting my actual license. There's business opportunities for me coming up as well at my second job as being a licensed driver. So... He does need to mind his own business for time. And these people are looking for attention. Mate, you put it out there, you dickhead. If you put something on the internet, people will... Ah, oh, you fucking moron. You really are when it comes to this sort of stuff, okay? When you... If this includes me, whatever you say on the internet... his own business with time and these people looking for attention um i know mm -hmm. thank you i love you too um but since they don't want to mind their own business and they like to project their own mistakes of buying lemons I figured I'd make a statement on my opinion. Right. Hi, Kitty. Heavy said, regardless if it was a lemon or not, she don't know how he would know if it's a lemon, given the fact that he lives in the UK. How do I know Hetty is a lemon? I don't know it's a lemon, Hetty. I said I worry that you might have bought a lemon. Do you know why I worried? Because of what your other half says. Your other half puts out what he says. He clearly doesn't understand things like tyres of 850,000 miles warranty, which I've said over and over again, which is just fucking funny. So that's where the opinion come from. How I don't know, I don't know. I'm sure it's owned by a lovely little lady old owner. As long as you keep up the camera changes, I've gone over this. You'll be fine, we've been over this. But your husband, partner, whatever, I'm not gonna say that word, um, you know, who put out a certain video, and well done for standing by him, puts these things out there and doesn't think people are going to talk about it or react to it or have an opinion. You know what I mean? It's dumb as fuck. Whatever you put out on the internet, people will talk. Just shut the fuck up. It's very simple if you don't want people to have an opinion. I hope it's not a lemon. That's what I said. I, you know, I, oh, it's fucking advice. You're so stupid. You, you ain't, um, you've got a brain, but Jesus Christ, you have to clean up after your fucking man. The fact that he lives in the UK. Huh? And yeah, and and I haven't shown the engine whatsoever. Was he talking about the vehicle from the guy who was making the commercials when I was showing you guys what the car looked like, based off of the video when I put the phone up to the screen? That wasn't our car, you know. That was me showing y'all what kind of car we were buying and what kind of features they had. I only wanted to do videos of my car to rub it in my hater's face. Because I don't see the logic in clowning a family just because they can't afford a car. I find that sick. Mate, nobody's clowning you for not having a car, but you are the one that said people who have cars are pretty much idiots, in effect, because they're just hassle, they, they cost money, and, you know, you're forever chasing them. And then you go get a car. But again, this is all down to you putting shit out on the internet. 
The reason why you have trolls is because when you were 17, we know this, two nine-year-olds, end of story. You put the video out there because you wanted to get there first, okay? That's where this all originates from, where the anger is and all the rest of it, okay? Mate, I told you, you've got to grow, you've got to carry on, and you're doing well. And I'm happy you got a car, you know? Fucking, I don't give a fuck if you change your opinion now that people have cars are wasters or they're not, you know? It's irrelevant. Look, I'm stopping the video here because you, you just go around the same old shit and I can't stop standing hearing you eat while you do a video. I don't know why, it's just a pet hate of mine, okay? A pet peeve. It's going to take a little while to edit this one. It's long-winded. But in short, Cecil, no. Nobody said you bought a lemon. People just speculated on the fact of the things you said. It had 200,000 miles and you think that's only 20% of a car's life. Idiot. Next, you said about tyres that are 850,000 mi 850, mile warranty. No, I don't think you understand measurements. That's what it comes down to, okay? Take advice, don't get stressed, and just own it, you know? Good luck to you. I'm sure the car will be fine, all right? And why don't I not smoke in it? Because that is a bad thing. I smoke in my car, and I really, really shouldn't, you know? <sighs> Dude, you're a dick, and that's the end of it, really. I I'm, I'm wasting my time doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just thought, fuck it, you know? Gave you a little bit of advice, and you just snap like that. <laughs> Can't deal with it, can you? Hey. You the man. You the fucking man, Cecil. You were the victim at 17. You really were the fucking victim. Those bad, bad nine-year-olds. Well done for telling the parents.